What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here. This is the area of interest that we've been keeping an eye on for the last few days. 30% chance of formation now. And another thing I want to, uh, we need to talk about is is that this thing is now moved over water. The, re the center of reloc uh, is potentially relocating even further up to the north around this er uh, this area right here, which would put it even further away from the coast. Which, if that was the case, it would ch it will change its trajectory and the potential strength and development chance. But with that being said, we'll go ahead and talk about this first, and then we'll add some additional commentary uh, to that last point. Uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on August 17th, 2022. A tropical wave located over the northwestern Caribbean Sea is forecast to move across Central America during the next couple of days and emerge over the Bay of Campeche, where an area of low pressure could form on Friday. Some gradual development of the system is possible while it moves uh, northwestward over south the southwestern Gulf of Mexico throughout the weekend. Chance of formation in the next 48 hours is now 10%, and the formation chance in the next five days is now 30%. And basically what we're looking at right here, this is the satellite imagery from, uh, from uh, Tropical Tidbits, shout out to them. And this is what we're looking at right here. This is, uh, this is what we're looking at. We're looking at potential circulation, a new center circulation around this area right here. It's currently by the NHC standards right here, which it would put it further to the northeast and it would take its trajectory instead of through Belize and the Yucatan, it would take its trajectory right through the central part of the Yucatan right here and potentially into even more warm waters because if we take a look at the Gulf uh, waters right here and they're not they're right about 29, 28 degrees uh, Celsius right here, but then they move through and then it enters that warm water, which it'll it, there's more than enough to do and the wind shear is expected to get weaker as time goes on. And then uh, we could potentially have uh, South Texas in play for a potential landfall if that relocation of its center com uh, continues. And another thing we need to talk about is that that will also give it more time for it to, de uh, to develop, essentially. And what I mean by that is that it'll be uh, an area where it's over water for, even if it's for a few more hours, it could be critical at that point. So what I'm thinking is, is that it's going to move over the Yucatan Peninsula it's going to enter the Gulf of Mexico, and because of that wind shear, if it can organize quickly, we could have a tropical dep uh, depression. Now, we're going to have to wait and see on that as time continues to go on, but we need to go to the main story of the day. And the GFS model has pulled probably the biggest 180 I have seen so far on YouTube, at least for my YouTube career. And I will show you what I am talking about. Because this is the 18Z of August 16th, so this is this this that eight this is 18 hours ago essentially. This is like a day ago, but I want to show you this. We're showing you four mile runs just to show you the evolution of this. So basically, what we're looking at is basically we start. It's about three days out. We start seeing development going on here at the Atlantic Ocean, and then it starts to organize a little bit. And well, this one does is more of a sacrificial lamb. Then we have this developing, and then we have this uh, potent, uh, potential uh, monstrosity developing. What I mean by monstrosity is that if we take a look, and we also have this uh, kind of stalling out and developing into a potentially a Category 1 hurricane. These two are at the same time, mind you, and this one makes landfall in northeastern Mexico. This one continues to organize and intensify. We're down to uh, the, the max is 972 millibars right here. So we already have a potential of two hurricanes uh, f from this uh, 18Z model. What I'm going to show you next is absolutely jaw-dropping because this is what I put out on Twitter last night. And as soon as I saw it, I immediately had to pay, uh, pay attention to this because I want everyone to keep an eye on three areas of development. One in the Gulf of Mexico and two in off the coast of Africa. This is the first one we have right here. It starts organizing, it starts developing, and then it really starts rapidly intensifying after, after a few little bit. So basically, the conditions aren't that favorable. There is some dry air in the area, which is why it's not strengthening f uh, fast or anything like that. But once it moves out of that, it, that's when things really start p uh, picking up right here. And things really ramp up. We drop down to 959. We have another system coming off 
uh, un hitting potentially the Gulf Coast right here, and then we have another one right here that's coming off the coast of Africa. And if we take a look at this, this bottoms down to 949 millibars. For equivalent, that is equivalent to, to a low-end Category 4 hurricane right there. And this is 976 right here. That's equivalent to around a Category 2 and 990, which is equivalent to a Category 1. This right here, according to the Zero Z, continues to move through, makes either a close brush to or landfall in Massachusetts. It's not really goes further out than that, but this is what's jaw-dropping about this because this... 12 hours before this run, they weren't expecting anything in the, in the next 16 days. Now, they are not expecting not only one, not only two, but three potential hurricanes right here. That is a massive shift from where we were. And, yeah, that switch is, uh, has pretty much flipped. And everyone in the next two weeks needs to pay very close attention to this. Everyone in the next two weeks needs to get their hurricane preparedness plan, wherever you are in the Atlantic Basin. You need to get your hurricane preparedness plan ready, and when the time comes, get it in action. But with that being said, let's go ahead and continue on. Let's go to the Zixi right here, because I want to show, this is not just a one and done thing. This is a continuing trend, and this is what we're looking at right here. This is the next three days. We start seeing a system developing, and then it starts after a little bit of uh, initial development it starts it gets in that dry air and then it finally moves through better conditions we have something else going on in the gulf of mexico we have this also starting to develop this continues this makes uh, yeah this let's start and go by one by one real quickly this right here this gulf storm rapidly intensifies and potentially makes landfall in gulf shores out around gulf shores alabama pensacola area around 973 millibars this system right here continues to intensify. This drops down to around 953 millibars and kind of like stalls out a little bit before moving slowly. And this right here here continues to move and eventually uh, eventually it strengthens to around 976 millibars. That's potentially a category two hurricane right there. So this is not just a one and done thing, like I've said, and this proves it. And even the 12Z, which I want everyone in the Gulf Coast to pay attention to this, because the 12Z is showing something, honestly, that we do not want to see. And this is the next three days right here. This continues. We have a system starting to meander. It moves through not so great conditions at first, and then it starts to move into better and better conditions. But pay attention to this right here. Pay attention to this, this low pressure system that starts developing. This here rapidly intensifies drops to 961 millibars and makes landfall around the Pensacola area. And yeah, this is not a one and done thing. This is a trend that's been going on. And we have been seeing three continuous tropical systems by the GFS for the last several model runs. Now it takes a few days for these to start to develop because uh, because in the, especially in the Atlantic, it moves into dry air. But once it moves out of that dry air, once that moist pocket uh, starts moving into better uh, areas, that warm water and that weak wind shear is going to really cause things to ramp up. And in the Gulf of Mexico, too, where those systems are moving, they're moving into an area that's really f uh, rather favorable. If we take a look at this, these systems move through here, uh, through here into the Gulf and potentially make landfall in the Alabama, Florida area right here. And this is, look, 5 to 10 knots of wind shear right there. That's... Like th that's few. That's good right there for this stuff. So, yeah, what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking here is that I don't think it's gonna be like all, all and done right here. This is 12 days out, but I do think things are really starting to ramp up. I do think that we could see this. Now, is it an absolute certainty? No, it's not. But is it possible? Absolutely. And. Considering that we've seen such a massive 180 in the last 24 hours, I would pay very serious attention to this. And we will continue to here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. But with that being said, we're going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out and helps me make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. I know this is a longer video than it usually is, but we had a lot of information we needed to get out there. So with that being said... Have a wonderful day. 
Follow me on Twitter and stay safe.